Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And after showing you guys so much high tech, I'm gonna show you something really low tech today. And we are gonna build a TV antenna out of a coat hanger. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is the internet is full of these kind of really wacky videos where people take all kinds of weird things and make a super TV antenna out of it. Um, a lot of this stuff is very misleading. And I'm going to show you a very simple antenna made out of a coat hanger is going to pick up something because um, typically if you're in a urban or rural area, you're going to have some broadcast TV on the air. And uh, in a lot of cases, those signals are pretty strong, so it doesn't take that great of an antenna. All you need is an antenna because your TV doesn't have anything connected to it. It's not going to pick anything up. In some cases, even a paper clip can work by putting that into the connector on the back of the TV. However, today we are gonna use a piece of coax, which has a connector on one end, and on the other end, I've just stripped off the center wire, which is what carries the signal. Coax cable is kind of like a water pipe. It is uh, a shielded uh, around the outside, and in the center, there's a wire that carries the signal. So what we're first going to do is we are just going to take this coat hanger. I'm going to tape it onto the window there. And uh, we are going to connect right on here. I'm going to clean that off, the paint. And we are going to connect that center wire and make that an antenna element. And uh, we will then do a scan with the TV and we will see what we can actually pick up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make it into an impedance matched antenna. We're going to use a terminal strip. I'm going to put it right on there. We're going to cut that. And we are going to use a Ballin transformer here, 300 ohm to 75 ohm, which is the same as the coax. That's more the proper way of doing it. And we will see if there is an improvement. And then we will try to put an amplifier on it as well and see if we can make it an active antenna and uh yeah so that's what we're going to do today it's going to be a bit of fun video but this is also a practical video it's something that you can make at home um a lot of people have smart tvs in their house and uh they just typically hook it up to uh the internet connection however there is a tv off air tuner in all of these sets and uh there is a connector on the back i'm going to show you how to do this we're going to start right now stand by Okay, so there is the coat hanger and I've just taped it to the window, to the glass. I've straightened the hook out and uh, the center wire, the coax, I have wrapped it around tightly on the end there. Uh, what you have to be aware of here is that the shield, that tin foil shield and any wires that may be sticking out that are part of the shield are not touching the center wire or you short it out and you'll have no signal. So the other end with the coax connector right there, the standard F connector, we are now going to connect that to my TV and I will show you how to do that. Okay, I'm in behind the TV. Uh, don't have a lot of room here. I'm squished between the window, but right there, see that connector? It says antenna in on it. That's where we're going to connect to, guys. And every TV has one of those in the back. Okay, stand by. I'm going to connect it now. Okay, connector is connected to the TV, antenna in. Okay, guys. Okay, there we go, guys. Got the coat hanger in the window. The wire goes down and up and to the TV. And what we're going to want to do now is go into settings and push that. And uh, broadcasting. Let's do auto program. Let's see what it picks up. Start. We want to do air. And uh, here we go. Let's forget any channels. Oh, look, we got some. We got two channels. Three, four, wow, look at that. With a coat hanger, we just found four channels. Five channels. This is crazy. Let's 
So with the coat hanger and a piece of coax cable, we just got five channels, it looks like. Okay, well, uh, close that. And wow. <laughs> there you go, guys. Well, I probably can't show that because that's probably copyrighted. But let's, uh, let's change channels here. See what else we got. Yeah. Okay, well, we got Family Feud. <laughs> kids, kids programming. Of course, of course, a French channel because I'm in Canada. But um, hold on, let's. Yeah, so these are off-air channels. We got TV Ontario. We've got Yes TV. CHCH out of Hamilton. CBC, of course. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do next is I am going to cut the coax here just to so everybody can see that this is the real deal. And uh, we are going to modify. There we go. Let's see, I lost the signal. So that coat hanger was actually doing picking up the signal. So let's bring it over here. And what we are going to do now is we're going to improve the antenna. It worked pretty good the way it was, but we got five channels. Let's see if we can get more channels. I'm going to cut it there and there, and we're going to put a terminal in, and we are going to put a ballon in to give us uh, a balanced signal, a uh, more proper way of doing it. We're going to be actually creating what is known as a UHF loop. Okay, I just use those pliers and I cut our coat hanger right there. So this piece here is now out of the circuit. And uh, I am going to cut, let's see if I can do this. I'll come bring it over here. And uh, just gonna do it like that. Okay, I'm gonna cut that, there we go. That's what we want, just two of them, and we're going to put that in there. I'm going to clean, uh, you want to clean this paint off, scrape it down to the steel wire. We're going to straighten those out, and we're going to wire them in there and there. Um, the end of the coax that I cut, I am going to install have these tools here. I mean, you can buy a piece of coax um, with the connectors already on it at Home Depot, just a short piece. And uh, yeah, we're going to try it again. We're going to see if we can get more than, uh, what was it, five channels. Um, and then I'm, al I'm also going to install an amplifier in line and boost the signal up. That could be interesting too. We might get more channels doing that as well. And that's basically it with this simple, easy to make homemade antenna. And this is, this is the real deal here. I'm not bullshitting you with any of this. This is, uh, you know, you can see it for yourself. And you don't have to take apart any light bulbs or any weird stuff like those guys. Uh, they're just trying to fool you. Anything basically uh, will work. Any kind of wire will act as some type of an antenna. But um, you can improve on it using real antenna theory here. Um, you can actually look up UHF loop. The frequencies that we're picking up are UHF here. So, uh, you know, back in the 80s, those round metal antennas on the back of your TV were known as UHF loops. This coat hanger is basically going to be performing this same same function. Okay guys, I'm going to hook her up and we're going to try it again and see if we get more than five channels. See if there's an improvement. Stand by. Okay, so there you go guys. I've scraped off that paint and I'm just going to insert it into the connector and we're going to tighten down. Okay, hold on. Okay, there I've completed the connection. I've got uh, the two steel wires in there. Screws are clamping it down and on this end I put the two wires from the ballon in there and we are ready to put this back up on the window and uh, connect our coax to it. Okay guys, stand by. Okay guys, I got it back up. Uh, there we got our connection right here as you can see and we got the ballon down there and the coax connector, and that is going down and up, and back to the TV, and the TV, of course, is working again. So let's just take a look. We still get all the channels. 
that we were getting before. And, uh, oh, there's some furries. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, 25, and I think that's where it ended. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to go and we're going to do a scan again. And, uh, broadcasting auto program. And uh, we're going to start, we're going to do air. Let's see if we get any more channels. If there's been any improvement with the Balan. Okay, two, three. Hmm. Okay, four or five. For a second there, I thought it was actually going to be... Oh, wow! Big improvement. We've got eight channels now. That's crazy. See, a little bit of proper engineering and uh, can go a long way. So let's see what we have now. That is really cool. We've got eight channels. So what channel is that? That's... Uh... Okay, five. We had these channels already. 19, 25, we had that one already. Okay, oh, that's, that's a new one. 47 is another new one. And 57. And that's it. Okay, well, there you go, guys. Now, let's hook the amplifier to it and see uh, what we get. Okay, guys, uh, let's try it out. Okay, here we go. Okay, guys, what I got here is actually an amplifier made by Archer. It was a Radio Shack amplifier back in the day. Oh, we have a visitor. Hey, hey. Okay. <laughs> Hello. You want some bread? I think he wants some bread. Hold on. Come here. I got some bread for you. Hey. Just put it there. Oh, here he comes. It's a bit of a scaredy squirrel, this guy. What do you think about that, Giddy? There's a squirrel here. You don't like them, do you? There he goes. <clears throat> okay, well, we fed the squirrel, so now we can get on with the show. What'd you think about that, Giddy? You didn't like him, did you? Okay, um, back to the amplifier, guys. And uh, yeah, so we got ourselves an old Radio Shack Archer amplifier as a single input uh, right there and this will be connecting to our antenna and it has a dual output which means it could feed two TVs I'm gonna feed just one TV the other output is capped off and uh, just out of curiosity it is from looks like 1996 and that was back in Radio Shack's heyday look at that Tandy trademarks of Radio Shack division Tandy Corporation okay so we're going to hook that up now and we are going to do another scan and we are going to see if we have any improvement. See bugging you, Giddy. You want some bread? 
Oh, this is our other friend. He's much more aggressive, this guy. Hey, hey, come here. There you go. There you go. Can get your bread. <laughs> what do you think about that, Giddy? <laughs> okay, guys, so there she is, the amplifier. We're going to do another scan, and we're going to see if we have any improvement with this amplifier. And uh, there's the cable there going to the TV, and the TV is actually using that amplifier right now. Uh, it's powered right there. Okay, so let me just get the remote, and we will do another scan. Okay, guys, there she is, the coat hanger and the amplifier, and we are going to start our scan. Yes, uh, air. And here we go. Now these TVs typically will scan analog channels first up here, which is what it's doing right now. And of course there is no analog channels anymore. And then it's gonna to switch to digital, there it goes. And it's already found three channels. Four, five, six. Now with the antennas too, uh, the higher up they are, the better. I've got it here just on the ground floor. If this was up higher and even if you could put it up on your roof, it would be an improvement. Antennas, of course, radio signals work best with antennas up high. And uh, there we go, nine channels. I think we got one more there. So that is a bit of an improvement. So let's close that and let's see what we got. Get that off the screen. Okay, so 5, 11, 14, 19, 25, 40, 41, 47, and 57. So there you go, guys. A coat hanger is getting nine channels just in my window here on the ground floor. How crazy is that? Let's take a look again. Look at that. How many channels do we got on here? 40. This is totally free. Free TV. Yeah, so there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that and find that useful. And yeah, you don't have to make all these crazy gimmicky things that people make videos about. You can just do it with a coat hanger, but it's a good idea to have one of these, the balance, because uh, that impedance matches the antenna to the transmission line. And, uh, and then you can also put amplifiers and things in because it it's all the same connectors. And uh, yeah, right to your TV. So there you go, guys. Have a good one.